Hi guys, how are you? All right, I jumped in here to tell you I started a podcast. It is KD Counseling Podcast on all streaming platforms where you can find podcasts um, like Spotify and Apple Podcasts, Apple Music. Um, is it Apple Music? I think it's Apple Podcasts. So yes, catch me over there. I will be going over shorter form and longer form content, topics that you guys want me to talk about. Um, so yeah, uh, it will be the topics that I don't get to sit down and make a video for. There's times where I just want to get on my phone, record an episode um, about a subject. And yeah, so I'm excited about that. You guys follow me there. It is Katie Counseling Podcast over on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. See you there. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm kind of honestly trying to hide like where I'm at so nobody can see for my privacy, I guess, for everybody's privacy. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia and this is Katie Counseling and it's my first day of practicum. It is 8.15 a.m. I've been up since 5.50 in the morning. That's my new routine, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I wanted to check in before I go and do this today. And then I'm going to check in with you guys when I get done. Right? I'm going to make a whole video. Okay. Again, just about my experience as students, if I felt ready for this experience and things like that. Nothing more, nothing less. Because again, this is my channel about being a student, becoming a therapist, and it's my journey. Um, so yeah, 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 I'm excited. I made it here, traffic wasn't bad. This is gonna be great. I'm excited, you guys. This has been since 2018, I started school, has come to this day, and a year from now, today, pretty much, I'm done. Yay! Okay, 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 okay. Wish me luck, you guys. I'm ready. This feels good. All right, guys. I gotta get all my stuff together. I have my, I got my therapist bag. And I got my magic keyboard, my iPad, and this strap over here messing with me. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm doing it. Wish me luck. I'll see you after, bye. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a intro because before this clip you just saw my first day of practicum yeah like a few minutes before I had to walk in um and I just watched it back right now and I'm getting you know like just like those positive vibes back right now um so yeah I kind of want to go over um, my experience, um, it's been a week now, so I'll go over the whole week. Um, I was going to film after, and then I, you know, said to myself, like, I really just want to internalize the experience and really, you know, how I do. I'm gonna think about it, process it, and then, like, give you guys the information. Because if it was in the moment, it would have been the same as that clip, like, super, like, super happy serendipity you know just whatever all right guys well welcome back to my channel my name is claudia and this is katie counseling and i think i already said that but if you're new here i have one year left in my licensed mental health clinical mental licensed mental health <laughs> counselor program um yeah so i've made it to the point where i have done a year and a semester worth of work um, and now for the next year next three semesters I have to do practicum and internship hours to satisfy the requirements for my program to graduate okay all right so you guys ah, everything honestly I'm gonna start with everything that you think at least what I thought my experience would be it is um because I chose wisely because I did my research 
and because I went in a direction that suits my niche, right? So, um, the one question that I don't know if you guys want answered is, Am I going to be ready the first day I walk into my, you know, real life experience? And in my case, again, because I've been dedicated to my schoolwork, I passionately care about what I'm doing. And I know all you guys do if you're in this field, but if, if this is, you know, your thing and you enjoy the coursework and you thrive in the coursework and you understand it and you can, you know, kind of, it's, it's, you get it, you know, it aligns with you. You're gonna be fine <laughs> you guys everything they teach us applies and all at the same time so I'm telling you like everything you learn whoa this guy almost hit the other car I'm parked by the way but that was intense okay so yeah make sure you're learning you know how you're sitting in class. Make sure you understand the ethics. Make sure you can focus on, you know, picking up different things. Um, it all makes sense once you're there, okay? Everything that you learn has a place in practice. And that's kind of what I've learned this week. Um, and again, I tell you guys, I'm going to talk about my experience as a student and like my preparation and my schedule and things like that uh and that's what this channel is about and you guys ask me great questions all the time that i love answering so yeah okay what am i gonna say um i did want to talk a little bit about like my schedule adjustment and how it this is th you guys it's a lot um but it's doable let me explain my schedule because one of the I'm gonna do a I'm going to do a question and answer video, but I did want to do um, one of the questions on here because people always ask me, well, how do you balance you know working, being a mom, and going to school and doing internship? And I'll tell you how I do it. <laughs> but again, you you can set up your life differently, and your life looks different than my life. Um, I know people that don't work. I know people that you know, have, uh, I don't know, just different scenarios, which is not mine. Okay. So in practicum, you're required to do 40 direct hours and 155 total hours, which are indirect, right? So what I've learned this week is that direct is even being in the room with the clients, right? Or doing individual sessions. In my mind, for some reason, I thought that direct hours meant you have to be doing the therapy, right? And that's actually not the case, at least for practicum, but I think it's the same thing for the internship part. The hours just double, right? So in practicum, it's 40 hours direct. In internship one and two, it's 80 hours direct, right? So sitting in on a session or sitting in on group therapy is direct hours so if you're in the room with the clients it's direct hours which is fantastic because honestly that was one of the things that i was freaking out about i'm like how am i going to get 40 like sessions 40 hours worth of sessions you know all on my own things like that like it, it was kind of worrisome I'm like how do you work how do you do anything else other than this especially once you get into internship where it's 80 hours it's like Okay, so I had to kind of reel it in and think about it because um, there are people that work at agencies, you guys. Okay, this is gonna be one of those videos where I'm like jumping ideas and concepts, right? There is people that are that work in places where they literally have the clients on their own and they have like 10 clients a day. Just like a regular clinician, you are like the clinician and you're having 10 clients a day. Um, that honestly, for me, was not where it's at for practicum. I don't, my personal and, like, private opinion about this is I don't think that that's how I would learn. Um, so the structure that I have now I think works great. 
and if you guys want me to go you know into that I can make a video about that but there's something about observing a clinician while they're you know doing their thing and they know exactly how to do it I feel like you need to see that for a little bit to be able to run your skills and I'm not saying that you're not ready you will be ready like even if on the first day of practicum if they have you have your own client you'll be ready but that's not the experience that I wanted sure I could do it but from observing I've learned tremendous amounts of body language communication um, transition words you know things like that so I think that I'm just happy and I'm blessed I'm very thankful that I am having the experience that I'm having right um, but yeah there will be people in your cohorts if you get to this point that have such different experiences in private practice in community mental health in private um, facilities and things like that there's so many different variations of an experience so that's why I always told you guys do your research interview a lot ask a lot of questions go where you want to be because I'm realizing this will be literally like I did 16 hours this week um, in practicum which you only have to do 11 hours to have all your hours in time pretty much but I like that I have more hours because again I get a lot of direct hours in my facility which is amazing but also like let's say there's a holiday week like we just had yesterday I didn't get to go in um, so that I missed those like five hours right there so I just want to kind of be ahead of the game so at the end I don't have to worry about it um, and yeah so I think that it's been a very very good week um, I'm gonna tell you guys I feel very connected to the experience um, I'm very happy I chose to go this way in school it uh, just solidified my like knowing of this is what I want to do in my future um, and it, it's just aligns I feel very aligned um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world <laughs> like honestly because you know how much work you put into making this happen for yourself and when you see that it like it's it flows it's very rewarding it really is um because your heart's in the right place and it just it's good so i just wanted to check in with you guys and i don't know why i'm saying this at the end of the video but i am going to have a podcast i will have to make an announcement in the beginning of the video or maybe I'll just add like a little clip uh, it will be the KD counseling podcast on all the streaming platforms available um, yeah first episode should be out this week hopefully it will be today but we will see you guys thank you so much follow me at KD counseling on Instagram and follow the KD counseling podcast on Spotify and Apple Music and wherever you stream podcast episodes. All right, guys, you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm excited to do the podcast too, guys, because I get to kind of um, make content like this, but even in shorter format or longer format, depending on the topic. So bye, guys. Leave your questions down below. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.